good morning guys um welcome to the part b of um the video on how to use order block in just man fair value gap and liquidity using break of structure change of structure to take orders um please if you didn't watch uh, part a of this video please go watch part a because you're not going to understand um this video um on this video i'm just continuing on where i left off on part a so on part b i'll just continue from um talking about liquidity as I said, um, when the market took orders um, from the high probability order block in the lower time frame, now remember the story in the lower time frame, which is this order block, you let the market play out this way. So you let the market go until it touches your order block. Then after touching your order block, you want to see the market changing structure there. So as soon as it changes structure and it collects um whatever orders it has left off you wait for the market to then break structure so you wait for this is called um um second confirmation right you wait for your second confirmation immediately it breaks structure now you know that the market has has turned or it has changed structure from it up trying to a downtrend so immediately it breaks the structure you'll just wait for the market to go and take orders from your order block then that's where you do yourself right let me explain that again so you wait for the market to come to the high probability order block um this order block will be your 15 minute order block right so you wait for it to touch um so you go to your one minute you let you you, you want your order uh, your, your 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 candles to touch the 15 minutes order block right immediately it does that you want to see a chalk on your one minute um, um um time frame right so you want to see a chalk down right so immediately it changes structure what you want to see is you want to see the market collecting orders right collecting orders here on your one minute so this will be your one minute order block right now immediately it does that what you want to see is you want to see the market um breaking structure on your one minute right so that um you don't get faked out because this can be a fake out you can see the market continuing going up either it's fetching an inducement or it's fetching another order block so to make sure that your order block is high probability it has to has imbalances and your one minute has to break structure right so after that after it changes structure you want to see your one minute breaking structure to the downwards right so immediately it does that it gives you uh the second confirmation then after it breaks structure i want to see the market going back to fetch orders right now when the market goes back and fetch orders that's where you enter the trade because now you will have the first confirmation the market has touched the 15 minutes order block the second confirmation the market has done a chalk and the third confirmation the market has broken structure to the downwards right that's where you'll be able to take a trade there so your trade will be high probability now in terms of stop loss you can put your stop loss above your 15 minutes order block or you can put it just above your one minute order block right but to be on the safe side you just can put your um, stop loss there now these are high probability trades you can go in with as as much loss size as you want right so let me just delete that this is your one minute story it takes practice it takes mentorship it takes understanding so if you want to understand uh, like i said on the part a you need to join um, the paid mentorship because we explain all of this in detail we don't rush anything so that you understand it. so going back to this so the market printed in balance right then after printing the in balance it it mitigated all the order blocks there was this order block first it was mitigated this order block was mitigated it tried doing an inducement it was mitigated then after doing this um 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 in um liquidity it then printed um a high probability order block which was followed by two fair value gaps right then after what it broke structure so the market broke structure here so we are anticipating for the market to either go back and take out this um liquidity or mitigate this high probability order block right so it has a break of structure to the downside so immediately the market has broken structure to the downside we are anticipating for it to come take this inducement either mitigate this order block which is a low probability order block let me just write it 
so this order block it's a low probability order block because um it it, it doesn't have fair fair value cap right there's no fair, fair, fair value cap afterwards um it on, only has um liquidity but now this order block is high probability because it has imbalances afterwards which is fair value cap and it also has a build up of liquidity this is a build up of liquidity right so between these two the high probability order block between this order block and this order block is this order block but remember guys we can never be sure that the market will turn there the market can surprise us and not turn in the high probability order block and actually go take out all that liquidity because there's money there and turn in that order block right so in order for us to know that it turns in this order block we need to go check this log on the one minute time frame so immediately the market touches our 15 minute order block we change from 15 minutes to one minute and in our one minute um we want to see that chalk remember i've been explaining this we want to see the market doing the first chalk then afterwards we want to see the market mitigating orders breaking structure coming back to take orders and go and that's where we enter our cell right so let me delete that so we want to see the market doing this if the market doesn't do this then we know that the market is not turning anytime soon so this was an easy trade the market came and mitigated on our high probability order block it closed it proved us right but in order to confirm this like i'm saying you need to go to your one minute time frame right but for the sake of this video, since it's a public video, I'm not going to go to the one minute order block. I'll do that on the paid mentorship, right? Now, where do you target? You target your highest, you target your lowest point, which is your swing low. Um, in the um, paid mentorship, we also teach different uh, our lows and highs, swing highs and swing lows, right? So this was fairly an easy trade and take profit was reached there. Then after the market reached take profit, it also did what? It broke structure. So the market broke structure here. So we have a break of structure to the downwards, right? So every time, every time the market breaks structure, we go back and see the story. What was the story? What did it do before it? It, it 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 um broke structure right so as you can see the market came and gave us this order block this order block was mitigated and it doesn't have a fair value cap but this order block is interesting now then we highlight that order block so this order block the market printed this order block after printing this order block it then um gave us a fair value gap as you can see then proceeded to go downwards it created this inducement um which i would say these are equal highs it created this inducement this liquidity i may say it's not inducement because it's two equal highs so you can say these are double tops so when you go to your one minute uh you'll see something like this so this will be uh, um, 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 um candles right so this you see something like this right so this is liquidity um which is um different types of liquidity on the video now next to that liquidity we see an order block so this order blocks becomes high probability because of this liquidity then it came in broke structure but in order for us to take this cell we need to go on the one minute time frame and immediately it touches that high probability order block we want to see the market going um um down on the one minute time frame meaning we want to see the market doing something like this then it breaks structure it changes structure then it breaks structure then we can enter on the um on the next order block right so that's what we want to see be, without that we're not going to be able to take any trade so that's what we want to see as you can see these highs are not equal are not uh, um, 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 equal the reason they're not equal we cannot say those are equal highs you'll see the perfect story on the one minute right so that was an easy trade we would, would have taken a sell on this week after understanding the one minute uh, 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 story right then that was going to be our sell excuse me needs to be a little bit down that was going to be our sell and the stop loss was going to be above our 15 minutes order block then what do we target we target the our lowest low before the market 10 
so that's where we tag it and we could have reached um tape profit there then immediately the market took orders there it then proceeded to again break structure so let's just delete that that was a successful trade then the next breaks of structure we had it's when the structure broke our lowest low right so we have break of structure to the downwards so the market broke structure there then we go back and check what the market did right as you can see at this point um we have this order but it doesn't we have this candle it doesn't have a fair value gap we have this candle at least it does have a fair value gap afterwards right so we can highlight that whole candle and see how the market will react to it right and we can see how the market reacts to it as you can see guys sometimes the market doesn't really go and reacts to 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 your order block how do you follow the market and make sure that you don't miss a, a trade when the market is has this broken structure and it's now going back to mitigate just follow your one minute order block as you can see you could have seen that the market has changed structure there without touching your order block then you could have understood what was going on and you could have taken that trade but if you don't go to your one minute order block guys you won't be able to take a trade then the market proceeded and it also again broke structure there right then after breaking structure there so we have a break of structure to the downwards we then go back and check the story again. We have this order block, which was mitigated. We have this order block with a huge uh, fair value cap there. So we take this order block, the whole of that order block, as our high probability order block, right? Then we, all, we, we go down, we check. The market also gave us this inducement, right? Gave us this inducement. So this is a fake order block. This is a fake order block. As you can see that the market came and reacted on that fake order block then it pretended as if it's going down then it went up and took all the stop losses so this is what we call a fake order block right but the correct order block it's our high probability order block the one with the fair value gap as you can see that the market reacted to that order block quite nicely this was a sniper trade this i like to call sniper trade now in order to confirm this like i say guys you need to go to your one minute order block and make sure that you have that chalk and that break of structure and that mitigation to the order block of your one minute right then afterwards this was also a nice trade because it had all this liquidity build up so this was trend line liquidity um and all this trend line liquidity has had to be taken down right if you don't understand what trend line liquidity is join our class and you'll be able to understand it's quite easy stuff right then afterwards immediately this liquidity was taken down mitigation happened one minute happened and we had a successful trade there successful trade there and where do we target we target our lowest point which is that point another successful trade so far we're having a hundred percent win then after that the market did come back and also do what and also break structure to the downwards right so we have another break of structure to the downwards until the market gives us a chalk guys we're not going to do anything but we'll sell right now we check now this is interesting we should check the story of what happened before the market um um gave us um this break of structure so before the market gave us this break of structure it had this candle which was mitigated by this candle then we had this order block which gave us a fair value gap there so we can anticipate the market to come back to this order block which is a high probability order block but another thing that i see interesting in this trade is that we also have an inducement here not an order block per se but we have an inducement here we have an inducement here so we have an inducement there let me just write that inducement up so currently as you can see that the market is um still playing around it's either the market will come and take out this inducement now because this inducement is close to that order block i wouldn't be surprised if the market comes back and takes out this inducement and while it's doing that it takes it touches the high probability order block so i'll be expecting the market to sell them right because the market hasn't mitigated anything um 
yet this is it, it, it it's fake inducement it's this is fake inducement the market might go down but um i don't see the market going um down for a long time without coming to mitigate this now remember guys the one minute story you let the market play out touches the point it needs to touch you want to see it breaking the um previous slow as it was going up then it causes a chalk then you want to see the market mitigating the orders then going down and doing a break of structure then you want to you want to see the market um taking out an inducement then taking out an inducement mitigating at an order block then going down this story it's very important you need to understand it and you need to try it um guys this is blue league signing out see you on the next video thank you